Welcome to a Project X Top Step X tutorial video. In this video, we're going to talk about the best ways to open positions and some best practices when placing orders. Okay, so let's start with the layout that we have here on the chart. So basically, there's going to be three different ways to open a position on Project X. First way is going to be by using this order tab right here. Second way is going to be by using the DOM. And then the third way is going to be by placing order directly on the chart. Um, there's actually another way, uh, hotkeys, but there's going to be a specific video just on hotkeys, how you guys could set that up um, in more detail. But before we actually jump into placing the orders, here's what we got to do first. Make sure everything is linked. So you will have this link indicator here. If you don't have it, you just click the indicators tab right here and then search for link. And then the color link should pop up. Make sure that the color here matches the colors on the order tab, times and sales, and the DOM. That way, whenever we are changing the futures contract, so right now we are an MES, let's say we want to go with M and Q. And to switch contracts as well, it's super simple. Either you can click on the top left here and just slash M and Q. Or faster way, in my opinion, is if you just are clicking on the chart and just type in on your keyboard right away, M and Q. Okay, no slash, no nothing. Just write up the letters on the keyboard and you should go to the other chart. Okay, this way, as you saw, everything did change as we were changing that contract, okay? Now, these tabs are also customizable. So there will be a settings icon right here, right? If we click on it, we can actually customize what we want to hide and what we want to show. As you can see, there's a lot of buttons here, right? There's a lot of buttons that you can use. If it's too confusing for you, you're like, oh my God, I'm not going to use all of them. I don't want to see them. You can actually hide them there. A lot of these buttons I am using personally. The only thing I never use is the reverse button. So if I just click that, as you can see, it just hit the reverse button and it does it automatically on the order tab as well as the DOM here. Now that we have everything set up, let's start with the first way to open a position through the order tab. So we choose first the contract, right? And then the order type market limit stop market and trailing loss um, there's going to be a video explaining what the different orders are but let's say we were going to do a market order and then we choose the number of contracts here so there are some predetermined buttons here one three five ten and fifteen if you want something in between for example let's say you want two you stand at one and you just click the plus button right if you want three, you can just do this, right? So these buttons will work if you want something in the middle of these numbers. So let's say we want to buy two contracts. Always make sure you are seeing the right number of contracts here. And if you want to go with the market order, we just click buy. And as we can see, that order is now open. Whenever you see this PNL moving on the screen, it means that the order is open and it will also show you the number of contracts there. Now, there's a lot of people that are like, hey, KV, I don't want to see the dollar value on the screen. You can actually change it, right? So there's a preferences tab right here. And if you look at chart value display type, you can actually choose ticks, percents, or points, right? So if I click points, click saves, it shows me negative two points, negative 1.75 points, right? If you don't want to see the dollar value showing on your screen there, okay? Now, let's say we want to place a stop loss. There is a drag and drop feature, right? So if I can drag this lower right there, that is a stop loss and it shows me exactly how much I could be potentially losing if it does hit that stop loss. And there's also a drag and drop for a profit target on the opposite direction, right? And you can always drag and drop these however you wish. Keep in mind this will exit your full position, whether your full position is two contracts, it will automatically liquidate you out of those two contracts there. So let's say you want to scale out, right? You don't want to sell two contracts here. The best way to do that is this. You drag and drop your final target. So let's say your final target is up here. And then if you want something in between to sell one of your contracts on the way up, and let's say that is somewhere here, you right click on the chart, you go to limit sell, okay? And you click one, okay? So now it tells us, okay, if it goes to this price line right here, it will sell one of our contracts. And then if it goes up here, liquidate the full position. Project X is very good at doing this because if it hits this order, this two here will change automatically to one and your stop loss will change automatically to one. So it will automatically adjust. Now, keep in mind though, this drag and drop that we did here with this drag and drop are automatically linked. It is called an OCO order, right? One cancels the other. If you hit the stop loss, it will cancel this order. If you hit 
the uh, uh, profit target, it will cancel your stop loss. But the limit order that we placed here in the middle, it is not linked. Okay, so keep this in mind. You never, never want to leave the charts without clicking the cancel all and flatten all buttons. Like just cl click both of those whenever you leave the desk because you don't want a pending order on your charts there. What do I mean? Let's say we want to exit this position. If you want to completely exit the position, there is a next button here, which it is a market order. Okay, it's not a limit order, it's a market order. If we click that, as you can see, the order got closed, okay? Your stop loss and profit target got removed because they were linked with the order, but this take profit here, it did not go away, right? Because it was not linked. Basically, what will happen is if the price moves up, 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 up here, and hits this order, it will enter you into a short position because it is negative one. And obviously that was not our intention. So that's why as I said, always just click the cancel all button before you leave your desk. That way you there are no pending orders. There's a lot of people that do that mistake and they wake up in the morning, their accounts are gone. Now that is the way that we use this order tab right here. Um, second way is by using the DOM. The DOM also has the buttons, right? So if you want to use the buttons on the DOM, you could definitely do that, right? So same way that we did there, right? Let's say we want to open a short with one contract. We click sell market, okay? And that's the short getting opened. Now let's say we want to exit the position. We click buy market, which is the opposite side. And we just exit the position, okay? Now, there's also a join bid and join ask. These are gonna be a limit orders, okay? There's a limit order here, but there's also a limit order on the buttons, okay? Keep that in mind. Join bid, join ask will always be a limit orders. Join ask will enter you into a short limit order. Join bid will enter you into a long limit order, okay? Now you can also use the DOM. That is a second way to actually get in a position. So let's say we want to enter into an order. Let's say if the price goes to 54.30 or up here, I want to enter into a short, right? So what do I do? Unclick this auto center because the auto center basically keeps on moving this and centers it to, to, to the um, closest bid and ask, right? So that might get confusing. You want to unlink that, right? So it's like this, it's not moving. And let's say if it goes to 54.30, enter me into a short, we go to 54.30, click there. And it says limit order sell, right? It's a pending order up there that if the price goes to 54.30, it enters you into that position. Okay. And we can either click this cancel order or click the X here to change that. You can also drag and drop here or drag and drop here. Okay. Now, last way to open a position, right, will be on the chart itself, right? You saw a little bit how the chart worked when you place that target order, but it's basically the same way, right? So if I right click on the chart, market buy, market sell, if I just want to open right away, right? Market buy, boom, we're in the position, right? If we want to place a target up here, limit sell one, okay, that's our first target. If you want to place a stop loss, let's say right here, stop, sell, and then one, right? Make sure when you are opening these positions on the chart itself, they will not be connected, right? They will not be OCO order. So just keep that in mind. You always have to do the cancel all button once you leave your desk there. Now, uh, talking about the buttons here as well, there's a close position and cancel orders. Cancel orders cancel these pending orders, right? As you can see, close position will do what this close position button does here as well. Again, those will be market orders. Not a fan of market orders, but those will be the orders to liquidate you automatically. Lastly, if you want to see those executions that you did on the chart right there, right? There is a button here on the preferences that says show chart executions. If I open that up here, click save, we can actually see all of those orders that we just did right there. Shows us how many contracts we bought, the price that we got filled in and so on. Obviously, if you are scalping, probably not recommended to have this on as the market is open because as you can see, it could get a little bit messy, right? You can always click it on and off as you wish. And that's it for today's tutorial for the Project X Top Step Text platform. I hope you guys understood now the different ways to open a position, to close a position, and also some of the best practices when setting up your layout.